Hey guys, Dan from Wilderness Grey. And no one way I always do those fun videos. And the odd one or two I don't. This is one of them. So I got a message from some, one of my viewers saying Huff Paranormal did a video on Chadwick Boseman. Now, before I go any further, I put I put the name of Chadwick Boseman and Hope Paranormal in the title. If you want to claim that as clickbait, go ahead. It's not. I want the people who watch that channel to see this. My message sorry pardon my language but i wanted to see my message to them because it's pissed me off so i got a message from natasha one of my viewers saying half paranormal paranormal uh, did a video on chadwick boseman Chad chadwick boseman died two days ago and huge respect to your know, thoughts with the family all that stuff and and I woke up to that news. I couldn't believe it. I didn't even know he was ill. I, I had no idea. He, he, did, he did all that, all his acting jobs. He kept it well hidden. You know, hell of a guy. And um, yeah, so that caught me off guard because you know I'm a, I was a big fan of his. I, I love Black Panther. I saw him in other films. I, I he seemed like an all round guy. <clears throat> so I searched. To find out, uh, because as soon as I saw this viewer say, oh, Half Paranormal just ma made a video. Um, I tried looking for it, I couldn't find it. But then I found on H Half Paranormal's Facebook page. I'm not going to put any clips up, because I don't want them to try and take this video down with their shitty f copyrights. I shouldn't be saying the F-bombs so much, <laughs> but I'm, I'm angry. I'm pissed off. On Half Paranormal's Facebook... I was searching, I couldn't find it, and then I realised he he has tweeted someone called Hope Paranormal. Now I don't know who this is. First time I've ever seen him. Uh, he's well, he's clearly associated with him, and he and he he, he uses that shit ghost box that Huff Paranormal investigated, which uh, invented. Sorry, which he's been proven time and time again to be absolute scam artist. Uh, I'm, so, I'm so pissed off. The guy is not even buried yet. Chadwick Boseman, he's not even buried yet. He's, you know, he's and he's barely cold, as as bad as that sounds. So yeah, I watched I watched the latest video from Hope Paranormal called Chadwick Boseman Powerful Words Spirit Session. It's a nine minute long video. I'm not going to show any clips. Um, you can look it up if you want. And if there's any fans of theirs here and you've come here, trust me, you're not going to like me. <laughs> it's, it's, it's as simple as that. I'm not going to say nice words about this guy. I did a video a while back about Huff Paranormal faking stuff. Uh, he was he was getting words from Robin Williams. That pissed me off. Uh, Kobe Bryant. Kobe Bryant, he did, I think, a couple of days after he passed away. Um, and yeah, that's the kind of shit he does. I've never heard this whole paranormal. And on the 30th of August, now, yesterday, Chadwick Boseman died on the 28th. Um, absolute tragic. And... This guy decided to try and contact him using one of those shit boxes. Oh god, it's I I just don't get it. It's the most it's the most disrespectful thing I've ever seen on YouTube. And I've seen a couple of these videos, and I swore I would never do another uh, video on Huff Paranormal. I'm not going to, but this guy is like Huff Paranormal 2.0. He's like the prodigy of some shit. I don't know, but he's decided to contact Ch Chadwick Boseman. Now, those ghost box don't work. I don't care what anyone says. They, they, they're absolute bollocks. That's what they are. I see a lot of people using those different types of those boxes, like Franco TV uses them. Um, other people use them. They are utter bollocks. And I'm not trying to be funny by saying this. They're just bullshit. Absolute shit. They don't work. They, they have a word, ba word bank in it, and they pretty much know what they're going to say, or it's like random words they'll associate. Oh, yes. Um, he, he liked the cheeseburger one time. Oh, look, that guy, that, the spirit box said cheeseburger. Piss off. <laughs> and I don't know, I don't know why this is allowed on you. Well, saying that, I can't really, I can't really say that because freedom of speech and all that shit. I suppose you can say what you want, you know, as long as you're not racist and all that crap. But, oh, this, this kind of stuff makes me so bloody angry, so... I want to. <laughs> I'm trying to stop myself from swearing there because honestly, this kind of shit really pisses me off. 
and it's it's the kind of stuff which is it's, this is everything wrong with YouTube. I said this before. This is everything wrong with YouTube. You you look at J Station. He used to do that shit all the time. He got thrown off YouTube for it. Not just that. It was other things. But this is part of the reason why he got thrown off YouTube. And other people have been thrown off YouTube for the exact same shit this guy is doing and Huff Paranormal is doing. And somehow he's adored. They're adored by their bloody fans. Millions of uh, subs or viewers, whatever. This guy hasn't got millions, but I'm sure he will at some point. But I just don't know how they get away with it. I don't know how they get away with it. I don't know how they sleep at night. That's that's the biggest thing. I, I could never... Do, you, you could offer me a million dollars tomorrow for me to make a video like that. You would never... Never in a million years see me do a video like that. It's like, I, I just, I, I wouldn't be able to bear the shame. The absolute shame. If, you know, if these people, they, they like, they're high up in the sub count. I'm sure they go to events. It's very possible that they could meet the, the family of these uh, people who are they trying to say in their contact in. I wouldn't be able to look them in the eye. I would not be able to look the family of these people in the eye. It's the most disrespectful, shameful shit I ever see on YouTube. And I I just can't believe it's allowed to go on, to be honest with you. And if you follow this guy and you love him and you're the same with Huff Paramore, I don't care. I don't care. And if you want to come to my comments and give me shit, trust me, I couldn't give a shit what you say. <laughs> you can say whatever you want. I couldn't give a toss. But I just don't understand how this kind of stuff is allowed to go on in this day and age. You've always had charlatans. We've had charlatans since the, since the bloody 1600s. Medians pretending to contact people. Psychics, you know, they, they'll have you pay them money for you to contact your grandmother. And, you know, for some, I agree, for some it does stand as a bit of hope. You know, maybe if, you're, if someone's grieving and they would like to know, think that they're contacting, I'm all for that. I'm all for someone have a little bit of hope, and, you know, a bit of peace. When, you know, if you go to like a private session or whatever, that's, that's fine. It's up to you. It's not my deal, but it's up to you. But these people who, whenever a celebrity dies, and it's, they will put, they will get that clickbait name. And like I said, I know I have put the name in the title. It's because I want them to see what I'm saying. That's the only reason. But they, whenever a celebrity dies, within days, within days, sometimes, well, this guy, in fact, within hours, within hours, I think he said he heard about it at 1am, I think it was a few hours later he made this video. I mean, come on. Just have some f***ing decency for your fellow human being. I just don't understand this kind of shit. I don't understand how people enjoy this kind of stuff. And if I was, if I was the family members of uh, Chadwick Boseman or anyone, who these who these people do contact um, thing? I would I'd take them to bloody court. I'd have I'd have them take down a video, or whatever whatever it takes. And if I ever saw them at an event, I'd confront them. I wouldn't be physical or violent. Don't worry, I'm not that kind of person. But I would I'd one hundred percent confront them and call them out on their bullshit. It's just it's this kind of stuff infuriates me. I I I always enjoy debunking stuff. You know, I I always try to say that. I don't try to debunk people's personal experiences. I'm not there, so I don't know what you know about your personal experience of what you might have seen or heard at night. I I always say I'm never debunking the paranormal. I'm just debunking bullshit videos that with trickery and proving you know with put put audio in. I'm not going to debunk this guy. I'm, I'm not even going to bother. I know those ghost box of bollocks. There's, they've been proved time and time again to be absolute bullshit. And this guy knows it. You know, the same with Huff Paranormal, this guy, he's got a cross around his neck. He pretends to be about all loving, you know, saying your prayers. I don't believe he, I don't think he believes that one bit. I think he knows exactly what he's doing. And I think it's disgusting, if you ask me. I don't know where I'm going with this video. I just wanted to call out this guy. Hope Paranormal, what's his name? I don't even know his bloody name. Joshua Lewis. Yeah, here's the description of his channel. The channel focused on real spirit communication and afterlife research. That's bollocks. Everything shown on this channel is 100% real. That is at the bollocks. And, and will always be hope. Stands for helpers of paranormal entities and will always be dedicated to not only helping souls whenever possible, but truthfully showing all evidence that is captured. Watch as Joshua Lewis conducts real spirit sessions on locations in cemeteries, 
houses and even in his his own red residence. Uh, I, I just I just don't know how these people can sleep at night. I just don't understand it. I'm looking at his channel right now. James Gandolfini, he contacted him the other day, apparently. Kobe Bryant, of course he did have a video on Kobe Bryant. Yeah, that's all I'm going to say. Um, that's really pissed me off now. I liked Chad, Chadwick Boseman. I thought he, I thought he's a cool guy. Liked his films. And he, he suffered in silence. And right up until the end. I didn't even know he was ill until he passed. And then you got shit bags like this guy making uh, contact in him. Uh, really pisses me off. And to anyone who likes him, like I said, if you want to give me shit in the comments, please, do, please do. I, <laughs> I don't care what you got to say. I'm not one of those weak piss ants who are going to knock the comments off. That's not who I am. You, you, you want to come at me? Carry on. I'm angry. <laughs> anyway, that's all I wanted to say. I just wanted to make people aware that the the scam artists, bullshit people like this, are going around. And I'm sure we'll see more. But have a blood, have a bit of respect for people for for crying out loud. Have some respect, not only for the people who've passed, but for the families who still have to suffer with their passing. All right, I'm going. <laughs> Thanks for watching.